can use our graphing calculator to quickly convert to polar complex form. And if I'm in polar mode, if I hit mode, and I'm here r times e to the theta times i, we're in polar complex mode. Which means if I enter numbers um, that are in any other form, <coughs> excuse me, it'll convert it. So what I do is press 2 plus i, hit enter, I'm given the number in polar complex form. But let's say you're not in polar complex form. Let's say you're in the real mode or the rectangular complex mode right here. How do you still convert to polar complex form? What do you do? Let's go over to rectangular complex mode here. So if I enter in 2 plus the square root of negative 1 in complex form, oops, let me go back, I wrote negative dot. should be negative 1. Sorry about that. In complex form, it'll give me 2 plus i. However, if I want to convert this quickly to the polar rectangular form, I don't want to switch modes all the time. I hit math, scroll over to my complex mode over here, and then the seventh command, I just hit 7, is the polar command. If you notice, there's a little arrow before the word polar. And the idea is that you've already inputted a number. Now this command will take that result and convert it to polar. So there's nothing else left to enter. You just hit 7. It's going to convert our former answer, 2 plus i, into polar complex form. And there it is. So you can quickly convert to polar complex form with that command. All right, thanks.